that Jason had that dark side because he was raised by my father. For the first time, the sister of a fugitive from Arizona on the FBI's top 10 most wanted list is going on camera sharing her story. Jason Derrick Brown is accused of killing an armored car guard in Ahwatukee and stealing thousands of dollars. He's been on the FBI's top 10 list for 14 years, and now his sister is revealing disturbing new details. Team 12's Colleen Sakura joins us with a look at the most wanted man in Arizona. After nearly 17 years. I never thought he would be a fugitive this long. It's the past. It's, it's shocking and it's horrific. That's lingered. Jason Derrick Brown on the run since November 29th, 2004. And for most of that time, now retired FBI supervisory agent Lance Lysing searching. It's always the victim. I mean, the victim's family wanting closure and justice for them. 911, what is your emergency? There was about five shots fired. Outside the AMC theaters near Ray and I-10 in Ahwatukee, armored car guard Keith Palomares is shot five times. I killed the armored car guard instantly. The shooter takes off with about $56,000 in cash, later ditching a bike but leaving his fingerprints on it. The fingerprints trace back to Jason Derrick Brown. Lysing says it's believed Brown came here nearly 17 years ago with a plan in mind. There was surveillance. There were items purchased. He was out training in the desert, practicing uh, his shooting. But to get to this point. While he could assassinate an innocent armored car guard during a robbery, he was also image conscious and wanted to be the good guy in the life of the party at the same time. Still to this day, I just, I just can't believe that he would do something like this because he was such a kind, loving person. But it's what Jason's sister, Jamie Brown Martin, calls a dark side. Jason didn't just wake up one day like this, that he was trained as a young child from the age of eight, nine years old to be a criminal. Jamie says that training came from their father who disappeared 10 years before Jason. My dad used to try to beat the bat out of him. In the days before Brown was identified as the suspect, he came to Jamie's door and stayed for several days, never knowing what he was accused of doing. There was no indication of any sort that there was anything out of the ordinary going on. She'll never forget what Jason left her with. I said, when are you coming back? And he goes, I'll be back someday. And I go, well, and I remember him hugging me again, like a second hug, like a tighter hug. And then I just watched him drive off. And in the back of my head, I was just thinking, am I going to, why would he say something like that? Like someday. Someday has turned into nearly 17 years. It's torn apart our family. Still waiting on closure. He is not the type of personality that can just live in the middle of nowhere by himself for 17 years. Closure for Jason's family, for Keith's family, for the case. Jason will eventually be found one day. The FBI is offering a reward of up to $200,000 for his arrest. Anyone with information or tips is asked to contact them. We're in Phoenix, Colleen Sakura, 12 News.